Making education more accessible to citizens are among the achievements being touted by the Philip G. Pierre-led administration since assuming office in July 26, 2021. Officials of the St. Social Labour Party, SLP, are taking stock of its most impactful educational policies as it gears up for the observance of its three-year anniversary. The first initiative I want to inform you about is the UNIPAS. Um, which is actioned via the Ministry of Education. This is for individuals who encounter difficulty facilitating their degree while in university, or for individuals who got accepted into university and need assistance. The UNIPAS assists with accommodation, airfare, transport, visa processing, tuition, and one can stand to get assistance with up to $10,000. This is the maximum. The transformation of four secondary schools into TVET institutions in hope of providing support to the next generations of creatives, technicians, and trade workers is at the top of the SLP's list of educational successes. The Stanley John Audlum Secondary School will serve as an institute of arts, media, and design, the Grand Rivier Secondary School will be converted into an Institute of Sustainable Agriculture, Culinary and Entrepreneurial Services. The Urge Secondary School will be the Institute for Engineering and Technology, and the PI Secondary School will serve as the Institute of Construction and Heritage. And those TVET institutions will ensure that students have a diverse opportunities to pursue their passions and prepare for various career paths in a rapidly evolving world, so no one gets left behind. Other educational initiatives include early childhood education support. Still to come, 93 registered early childhood schools in St. Lucia will receive a lump sum grant of $2,500 from the government to assist with purchasing school supplies for the 2024-2025 academic year which means that this is going to happen very soon. And the government will invest $22.5 to restore and rehabilitate 16 school plants. And this will ensure safe and secure and comfortable spaces for students to thrive and learn. SLP members also boast the Education Loan Financing Facility, which established a line of credit at the St. Slusha Development Bank, SLDB, for students who qualify for university but come from disadvantaged backgrounds and cannot secure regular loan financing. Moreover, the Philip J. Pierre-led government has increased teachers' customary allowance to ensure they have the resources needed to deliver quality instruction. The educational policies are geared towards removing financial barriers and enhancing the quality of education to empower individuals to break the cycle of intergenerational poverty and elevate their socio-economic status. Gina Filippi, HTS News Force.